The following tutorial will walk you through applying a client's retainer. A retainer can be applied in many ways. First, we will look at applying the retainer when creating a new invoice. Go to Client Invoices under the Accounting menu and add a new invoice. Enter the project and tag the items you wish to see on your invoice. At the bottom of the screen, you will see a retainer field. There is also a field showing the available balance of the client's retainer. In the retainer field, enter the amount that you wish to use on this invoice. It is best to not enter an amount larger than the balance due unless you are planning to give a credit. Then select OK. Then post the invoice to see a print preview. The bottom totals will show the less deposit amount used from the client retainer. If all looks good, close and accept the invoice. That will complete the first way of applying the retainer. A second way to apply the client's retainer is to go to Cash Receipts under the Accounting menu. Add a new cash receipt, then select the project. You will see a line at the top that is used to enter retainer showing the available retainer. To apply that retainer onto an already created and accepted invoice or proposal, select the pay tag column for the retainer line and use the pencil to edit the amount. Enter in the amount that you wish to remove from the retainer as a negative. Optionally include a transaction description. Then select OK. Check off the pay tag box for the document that you wish to pay with this retainer. In this example, we will pay off the balance due on this invoice. Because we are not receiving any new cash, the amount at the top should be zero or blank. We will also see a difference of zero if our tagged payments match properly. Select the cash or check payment type and use the check number field to type in retainer. Then click OK and post your zero cash receipt. You will now see the payment is on the existing invoice. You can reprint the invoice and show payments to acknowledge that it has been paid in full. This completes this method of applying a client's retainer. To review more tutorials and search our knowledge base articles, please visit our Help Center under the Support menu of designmanager.com.